belonged to my daughter. Good. Today, I speak your name, girl. But will the goddess speak it back? Normally, it would be the mother who declares, if you had one. The whole village would attend, and matriarchs perform the ritual. But we are outcasts. Even so, we keep the tribe's rituals. Otherwise, we might become like the faithless old ones who turned their backs on the goddess. But their wickedness doomed them. To us, we're left the splendors of creation, beasts of air, water, earth, and steel. It is one thing to hunt a beast. Another to hunt a machine. You must be humble and respect their power. I will teach you this one day. No, 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 off your knees. It's nearly time. And yes, you may speak to me. You came to bless the naming. Have not six months gone by since we entrusted her to you. But we are out. And she, well... I am a high matriarch, Rost. I bless whom I choose. Then you honor us. Yes, yes, now go and be ready to declare. Go! Oh, mother, this child needs a name by which to know her. That your love may warm her life as the rising sun warms all the earth. Speak her name! Aloy! And so her name is blessed. Stop this at once! What have you done? I've blessed the naming of a child. Stubborn woman, you call that curse a child? What did she tell you about his birth outcast? Answer! I've done only what you asked. To raise it, yes. We said nothing of love. Enough! And you, blessing its name like it was one I of the I know my duty to the them. Tribe. And to you. Without consultation. I'm here. And wherever you go, I will follow.
That's a lot of berries. You're quite the gatherer, aren't you, little boss? Now go and see if you can find some more, hmm? Well done, that's a good boy. <laughs> Children, come with me. She's an outcast to be shunned. There. can get through. Be a ruin of the metal world. One of the old places. never go in places like this. But I have to find a way out. Something up ahead. What's that? A dead person. There's something shiny there.
A metal door. Closed. Maybe this device I found can help. How do I get it open? Shape. It's connected to the door somehow. It changed color. SRC. Black Quartz Encryption. I've rooted the message to your hologram for viewing. Sure does 
just love his little big man. But look, Daddy can't be there with you and Mom, but we can still have a party, right? <laughs> sure we can. <laughs> Take my hand. You don't belong down there. Come! <sighs> Such places are forbidden, Aloy. I fell in. They are of the metal world. What is that on your face? Nothing. Did you find it down there? No. Give it to me. Aloy, such things are dangerous. No! <sighs> I... 
Well, if you're gonna go sneaking away from home, you'll need to know how to survive in the wild. Come, Aloy. Home now. But starting tomorrow, you will learn to hunt. muttering to that plaything. We descend to the valley now. Follow. Be dangerous, Aloy. You will need to stay close and do as I say. I know. Now, you're still scratched up from that fall you took yesterday. So let's start there. Take this medicine pouch. I'll show you how to fill it. See this plant over here? It's called South Brush. Come, gather its berries in your pouch. Good. Now eat the berries. They may taste bitter, but they could save your life. Always keep your pouch full of medicinal berries, flowers, and plants. Where are we? This valley is just a part of All Mother's Embrace. Embrace? The Nor tribe watches these lands and keeps out the most dangerous machines, usually. Further down river, we'll find a herd of machines, and I will teach you how to hunt. Are they dangerous? All machines are dangerous, Aloy. Their power must be respected. But I will be beside you. Mm. Aloy, a machine's coming. Crouch and follow me into the tall grass. There. Now stay low. Little one. No, Aloy. Such machines are called watchers. You must learn to avoid their gaze. If you are to survive in the wilds, I will show you. Listen close and do as I do. Stay still. Wait for it to pass. Now keep low and follow me across the trail to that tall grass. The slower you move, the quieter you'll be. And crouched walking is quieter than upright. Wait for it. That's the last of them. Let's move on.
You did well. They didn't see or hear you. Now stay close. That herd should be just ahead. and he is of the tribe. Maybe he doesn't like the tribe. And he is a fool. Come now. Let's find that herd. Follow. There. See them? These are called striders. Ha! Get! Why'd you chase them off? Huh. To show you how some machines startle easily if they detect you and run away. They're best approached by stealth. Don't worry. We'll catch up with them further down the valley. You'll see. Now, I want you to find some rocks that fit the cup of your hand. Why? Do as I say, Aloy, and gather the rocks. I will show you how to use them. Those will do. Follow. can't hurt machines, right? No, but they can distract them. Draw them into traps. Like that watcher over there. It must be dealt with, or it will warn the herd and send them running before we get in range. Warn them? How? The machines speak to each other, Aloy. Unless they are first silenced. Now you stay here on the ridge. On my signal, throw rocks and draw the watcher over to me. Wait for my signal. Draw the watcher towards me. There. Come, girl, it's safe now. Harvest a kill so I can teach you how to make arrows. Good. Now, gather stalks of Ridgewood from the plants over there. Use the stalks as arrow shafts, and metal shards for arrow heads. Good. You'll never run out of arrows if you know how to craft what you need. Let's put those arrows to use. Follow. Here. 
Stay low in the grass and be quiet. It's time to make your first kill, Aylin. The Strider. One of the weaker machines. But even a weak machine can kill a hunter if she's careless. You must study your brain. Its hide is thick, but there are spots where it is vulnerable. Like its eye. Can you guess another? on its back. Is that a weakness? Shits. How did you guess that? The device. It showed me. But that plaything? Stop playing games. Now, take down that strider. Target the eye or the canister. And if it charges, be ready to roll out of the way. Hit! Keep firing! You did well today, but you have much to learn. Tomorrow, we train again. What was that? That boy. The one running the brave trails. Follow Eloy, quick! Slowly and quietly so I can sneak past them. Can't let them see me. There. 
serious. Hey. What? How is this? Wait. Oh, Mother, bless that girl. Bless you both. She, Boy! She saved me. I, I just wanted... Boy! Seal your lips! They are outcasts, both. And she is motherless. Come now! Back to Mother's heart. should not have spoken to us. It's against tribal law. We'll go home now. Follow. I know the way. Mother. Bleeding. Let me have a look. Here, hold still. I'll get it. Why? Shh. Why am I an outcast? Aloy, this is not the time. Who was my mother? Aloy, I've told you before, that's not for us to know. You were just a newborn when the matriarchs brought you to me. So the matriarchs, they know? It's not so simple. But they know. Aloy, we are outcasts. So how do I make them tell me? The matriarchs? There is a way, perhaps. So tell me. It would be dangerous. How? It would take years of training. I don't care. How do I do it? Tell me. The proving. The tribe's rite of passage held every year. Those who pass become braves, but to the one who wins, the matriarchs grant a boon. A boon? Yes, whatever the winner wants. Then I'll do it. <laughs> whatever it takes. I'll win the proving. 
I see. We'd best get started then. Your training will be hard. And it'll take years. Start training? Yes. Follow. Before the proving, and he goes off without me? He wouldn't do that. will keep.
He said we'd go hunting this morning. Why isn't he here? Where's he gone to? What's he doing up there? He's just standing there. What's going on with him? Aloy, you're here. Did you want to be alone? No. We must speak. I've been thinking about your training, Aloy. You've learned to hunt, learned to survive. But I fear there's a lesson I failed to teach you. Would you learn it now? Of course. I'll always learn what you have to teach. There has been some trouble recently. It affords an opportunity to learn this lesson, but it will be dangerous. You must come prepared, or you will die. Descend into the embrace and hunt until you have gathered the parts for fire arrows. Fire arrows? What kind of trouble are we talking about? Once you have the parts, you will meet me there, at the gate beyond the village of Mother's Heart. Uh, the North Gate? At the edge of the Embrace? Yes. Now be on your way. Is something else bothering you? No. I'm fine. I'll go gather the parts, but I'm also going to pay Karst to visit. Aloy, that man breaks the law every time he speaks to you. And I'm glad he does. I want to buy a trip caster, and no other trader will sell to outcasts. Stock it with ammunition, then. You'll find use for that weapon tonight. That sounds ominous. All right, see you at the North Gate. Something's really bothering him. until I get answers. Two days, and I'll know who she was, and why I was cast out at birth. As if there could be an excuse for that. All right, time to gather the parts for some fire arrows. I should find a herd. I guess no one ever gets lonely in there.
save these for the trail. Good meat. I'm injured. I need your help. Talk to an outcast? I'm desperate for help. Whatever the consequences. What's the problem then? Trouble with your leg? Forget about me. It's my daughter, Arana. She's in danger. She went after a scrapper near Mother's Cradle, and I fear for her life. I can't even stand up, let alone go after her. Will you help me find her? Why would your daughter hunt a... It's my fault. I went after it first, and it tore up my leg. That spear was... I'll do what I can to help your daughter. Make sure she's all right. I'm begging you.
Rain's been building for long enough. Must be a runner. Saving me from those machines. Thank you. I thought those watchers were gonna tear me apart. Your father sent me after you. It's time to go home. I figured. But I can't go back until I get my mother's spear from that scrapper. Your father is worried sick about you. He gets worried if I go ten steps to relieve myself in the bushes. He just... he doesn't want to lose... I know. I'll look for your spear. You will? Oh, thank you. Go find your father. His leg gave out while he was searching for you, just south of Mother's heart. Oh, no. Okay, I'll go to him right away. Thanks again.
The longest trail ends here. Must be where she saw the scrapper. If I follow its tracks, I should be able to find that spear. Mother's cradle. Never know when I might need these. The trail ends here. I'll better cross the river. Better check the other side. Time to see cars and get a trip caster. later. There. Time to get that spear. There. Time to get that spear.
a well-made weapon. Arana will be happy to have it back. Yep, it's the motherless outcast again. Go ahead and stare. No one else around. Looks safe to meet. My guess is he'll be waiting for me. There he is. Looks nervous. Cast on my doorstep, all mother protect me. Surprised you saw me the way you keep looking every other direction to make sure no one's watching. Careful there, or you'll sprain your neck. It's always a pain in the neck when you show up, girl, one way or another. <laughs> Is there a reason why you're acting so cranky today? Once you run the proving and get made a brave, you'll deal with traitors in mother's heart. Maybe I don't like losing customers. Traitors who don't break the law and deal with outcasts, you mean? That's right. Our days of crime will be behind us, so long as you keep quiet. Are you worried I'm going to tell someone that you trade with outcasts? I don't think you're the kind who talks, but you never know. You can stop worrying. The secret's safe with me. Yeah, that's what I figured. But I don't mind hearing it. The only person I've ever told about our trades is Rost. Yeah, well, not like he can turn me in, even if he wanted to. Law and duty sort of a man, that Rost. I don't know how you stand it. You really don't know why he was cast out? I've told you no. I don't think anyone knows what he did, but it must have been serious because his term is for life. Last time I visited, you had a tripcaster available for trade. Still got it? I do. But you'd need to bring me a scrapper lens. What can I say? Special weapons don't come cheap. Oh, I can pay. 
took down a scrapper not long ago. Stripped out the lens in perfect condition. I'll be the judge of that. Show me. yourself a trip caster practice how to use it someplace else all right my life's exciting enough without a bunch of shock wire booby traps to trip over really could have fooled me <laughs> Will will you be around later in case I want to make another trade I'll be here same as usual bring me the parts you harvest be sure to take a close look at my inventory though who knows I guess that concludes our business. All right. Good luck in the proving. I've got what I need. Time to meet Rost at the North Gate. Shouldn't be here. First you send Arana back to me, and now you've got the spear. When I first called out to you for help, I didn't even know if you'd speak to me. I'm glad you did. And me too. I can't believe you got the spear back. Your mother knew how to craft them. It's of exceptional make. I'll never be the crafter she was, but she did pass along a few tricks. I'd be happy to take a look at your spear. Thank you. It sounds like... She was special. I'm sorry for your loss. Well, because of you, I still have the spear to remember her by. You didn't have to help us, but you did. She would have admired that. Thank you, Aloy, for everything. When I think what it would have been like if I had lost...
out loud. Explosions and shots from outside the embrace. I wonder what's going on. Aloy. You're here. You have the fire arrows. I do. Those explosions and shouts beyond the embrace. Is that the trouble you were talking about? You will know soon enough. Until then, we wait for dark. Wait for dark? I don't understand. Those explosions are outside the embrace. What can we do from in here? The lesson will be taught in due time, Aloy. Until then, we wait. I saw Karst and got that... I hate to think what that outlaw trader charged... It wasn't cheap, but the caster is worth it. Perhaps. Still a while to go before dark. Good idea. They'll be... Opening a gate for an outcast? Some who are shunned reaped honor before disgrace. <sighs> so much for tribal law. I spoke to no one, and now we must both keep silent, for we are outside of the embrace. These are the true wilds, Aloy. With threats unlike any you have ever faced. That carcass? What sort of beast was that? The tribe calls it a sawtooth, and it's something new, something angry. Since they first started appearing ten years ago, they have killed many braves. Yeah. Follow the path. It's not far. That cabin. What happened to it? A machine, that's what. What sort of machine does that? The sort of machine you're hunting now. Oh. I see. I'll watch your carcass. I'll harvest the parts. 
Watch your surroundings. They know I'm here. They did. The kills we passed are theirs. And tomorrow, they will hunt again. They won't need to. This machine will be my kill. Or your death, if you're not careful. Yours to make, Aloy. Yours alone, your own. I should stay out of sight. I can use the tall grass to approach. Okay, let's see. Where can I place my traps? Deal with them quickly. Thank <laughs> you. 
Why did I bring you here? Not to answer questions. Aloy. Survival requires perfection. It was a test to hone my skills against a dangerous new machine. No. Follow. These are Nora hunting lands. They must be protected. If you hadn't destroyed the Sawtooth, how many braves might it have killed or injured tomorrow? The lesson lives within the question, Aloy. For years, you've trained to win the Proving, but only for yourself. As a brave, it will be your duty to fight for your tribe. My tribe? You said I wouldn't need them. But I never said the tribe wouldn't need you. The strength to stand alone, Aloy, is the strength to make a stand. To serve a purpose greater than yourself. That is the lesson you must learn. And remember it. After the proving. And after I'm gone. We're finished here. Follow. Dawn has passed. This will be your last day in the embrace as an outcast. Use the time to set your mind on the challenges before you. When it is time for you to go to Mother's heart, I'll be waiting for you along the way. I'll go back to the cabin with you. I'm not heading there just yet. I have other plans. Oh, such as? I'll be waiting for you when it is time. I understand the final lesson, Rost. Do you? But if I'm going to stand for something, it'll have to be something I believe in. Then I hope you find it, Aloy. I hope you do. I'll see you at Mother's Heart, then. You will.
These are helpful. Bitter, though. Taste of metal.
to speak. So, it's time. Are you ready? Yes, I guess. It's louder than I expected. You've never been so close before. I guess everything's bigger up close. Soon it'll all seem familiar. Like home. I don't know about that. Look for High Matriarch Tirsa. She'll help you. Any other concerns? Any final lessons before I head in? No. You've learned every lesson the Wilds have to teach. It was you who taught me, not the Wilds. Not sure my bow and spear will be much help in there, though. It is with bow and spear that you'll win what you've wanted all these years, Aloy. Answers. What should I expect once I'm inside? There will be people celebrating and feasting. More than you've ever seen in one place. No other village compares to Mother's Heart. It is the seat of the High Matriarchs. A center of Nora life. A jewel of the sacred land. Give it time, and you'll grow fond of it. As I was. Back when I was at the tribe. I'm ready to do this. See you back home in a few days? You will not find me there, Aloy. Here. Take this. Remember. Why are you talking like we'll never see each other again? No. No! You should be with the tribe. And I will always be an outcast. But I told you, I have that figured out. I'll come to you in secret. I'll be the one breaking the law, not you. You don't even have to talk to me. This... Attachment to me will only hold you back. It's my wish that you embrace the tribe. You've lived in isolation long enough. Not until now I didn't. For your sake, I must go where you will never find me. This... This is goodbye. No, it's not. You taught me how to track. Wherever you go, I can follow. Not this time. This time. And every time. I'll be wearing this when I find you. May all mother bless you. First, the proving. After that, I'll see where his trail leads. You will turn back, outcast. Or bleed. Your choice. Make way! Make way! Braves, stand aside. She is welcome here. Mother's heart is open to you, child. Come. I assure you, most Nora aren't so rude as those idiots. You're Tirsa? <laughs> Who else would I be? Come on now. I've been waiting for this day a long time. You have? Oh, yes. But for the moment, I must leave you. I have other outsiders to keep safe tonight. You what? Envoys from another tribe, the Karja, come to observe the Proving, and oh, how the Nora hate the Karja. Karja? But that's my problem. We will talk later. In the meantime, enjoy the festival. Oh, down the path to the right, you'll find an old friend who can't wait to see you. But I don't know anyone here. <laughs> Try telling him that. We will talk later. May the Goddess protect. What is going on?
paid clans. Aloy! It's you, isn't it? Over here. I am Matriarch Tears. It is Aloy, isn't it? I'm remembering your name correctly? Are you the old friend Tirsa told me about? I don't know you. <laughs> I see you don't recognize me. Well, it was a long time ago. Teb is my name. You were half my size when you saved me from a herd of machines. I remember. You tried to thank me. I never forgot that day. All these years, I hope to see you again, if you came to run in the Proving. As you can see, I didn't turn out to be much of a hunter. I served the tribe as a stitcher instead. A maker of garments and armor. In preparation for this day, I've made an outfit for you. I hope you like it. What's it going to cost? Cost? <laughs> Nothing. Consider it the thanks I tried to give years ago. Long overdue. Aloy, you didn't take the outfit I made you. Go on. Seems to fit you perfectly. Uh, thank you, Teb. I've never had anything like this before. Well, it's yours. I think you'll find it affords more protection than what you were wearing. Every outfit offers some advantage. It's always a trade-off. Anyway, I shouldn't keep you any longer. Head for the Matriarch's Lodge if you want to find Tirsa. You'll know it when you see it. A large wooden building with an angry mob waiting outside. Tirsa said something about envoys from another tribe? Yes, that's what the mob's angry about. Karja visiting our sacred land for the first time in years. I'd expect to see some tomatoes fly, maybe rocks. Hopefully not spears. In any case, be ready to duck. She stopped drinking her tea. I'm gonna be an uncle again. Beer for everyone! <laughs> I Get down from there! Bad enough you're drunk. Why do you have to go climbing houses? Oh, not supposed to go climbing on other people's roofs, huh? Get down from there, now! Oh, that's just what you want, Listen isn't it? For me to fall now. on my head! What I want have to is for you to climb down! What you want is for me to have no fun at all! From all Fine! Stay up on the roof all night if you want. Yeah, I will. All the her did to our tribe. They lived alongside each other in the comfort of her wild embrace. enjoy this every night. But some occasions restless. Though they took of her bounty, they wanted more. This brings me back. These were the faithless. The machines had whispered to them, promised to serve them. 
Without to make them a new prizes. world, Ross better than the one all mother provided. A world of metal. They're really good. They told the faithless they would do all the work for them. Feed them, shelter them, give them a life of peace. I won't let the carja faithless Plenty. stop me from enjoying the so, festival. What the harm can they do now? left with the machines. Only the true if children, the tent, mothers and fathers of the Nora, stayed with all mother. At first, the machines did as they had promised. They built cities, great and terrible. Monuments to the mother. Aloy, over here! Karst? What are you doing here? Careful. Pretend like we've never met. I wasn't supposed to trade with outcasts in the wilds, remember? How could I forget? And how generous of you to talk to me now. Don't be like that. You know I'll be rooting for you in the Proving tomorrow. Can't wait to see the looks in some of these faces when you win. And if you need any last-minute supply... I'll give you my best prices, I promise. Next time, you'll be a brave. In a moment, we shall bless the proving. But first, we have guests to welcome. For two years, we have been at peace with Akarja. It is time to restore our bonds of trade with Meridian. These envoys come to us under a banner of peace. An annunciation of gratitude written Killers by the and hand slavers. of yeah. Sun King yeah. of Ireland. Killers and slavers! Hey, hey, Luminance hold your fruit, Nora. Oh. Nora Faithful, hold your fruit. Now, I'm Azaram, not Karja, so I'll put it just straight. The 13th Sun King was a murderous bung. 
Oh, he was. He was a tyrant and a monster. He raided my tribe for blood sacrifice, just like yours. My own sister was taken. I hated the Karch. But the 13th King is dead. Two years now. And who killed him? The 14th. Not because he, he lusted for power, but because someone had to put an end to his father's atrocities. Yeah! yeah! The message that this poor priest means to read is an apology. Straight from the lips of the 14th king. So please, can't you lend him your ears? Hey, thank you. <clears throat> an enunciation of gratitude. Written by the hand of Sun King Avad, 14th luminance of the Radiant Line. <laughs> Evil of the Nora. On the eve of your proving. What's that mean? No, he's wearing the a focus. Just like you, mine. As the Hell, sun's light frames the stoutest tree. Where did he as find a focus? You're the only other person I've ever seen. Who says I'm like other Nora? Why, well, uh, I guess you're not. Maybe you've gone delving in the ruins of the metal world. What's wrong? Apologies. Uh, a malfunction. Oh, Lynn? You making friends with locals, are we? I'll... I'll come back. Wait. No. Uh, we'll talk later. Have to go. Whoa. Well, I guess he's more hungover than I thought. <laughs> hey, you got the same trinket that Olin has on his head. Since when did those become fashionable? His name is Olin? Who is he? And where did he get one of these? Ah, he's just a scrounger with friends in high places. Now, he spends half his time digging for artifacts, the other half drinking or dicing. As for the trinket, well, I guess he dug it up somewhere. Just a weird old jewel he sticks on his face. I mean, no offense. It looks great on you. I've never seen armor like yours before. You've never seen Vanguard steel? Now let me introduce you. Ring locked, impact protected, sturdy enough to choke a sawtooth. It has to be. The Vanguard are the Sun King's best. Life takers and machine breakers to a one. It might even give a Nora war maid like you more trouble than she can handle. <laughs> With all that metal to slow you down? I doubt it. Yeah, hard to say. From where I'm standing, it looks like a pretty even match. I should make my way to the Blessing. Yeah. Look, maybe I shouldn't say this, but... It's obvious that you don't belong in this backwater. I mean, you're smart. You're obviously capable, and... Well, I mean, look at you. Uh, what are you talking about? You know what. All right, if you ever visit Meridian, look me up. I'll show you around, make introductions. It'll be a whole new life, if you want it. I'll even introduce you to my sister. She's got more connections than I do. I thought you said she was captured and killed by the last Sun King. Ha! Captured, yes. Killed, no. It takes more than a few cards to finish Ursa. She got away. Now she's captain of the entire Vanguard. That's quite a story. Maybe I'll tell it to you sometime over a drink. Anyway, I have to go to that blessing thing, too. So, uh, see you around, maybe? I won't deny them the chance. Perhaps the Karja have come to make amends? I won't deny them the chance.
I won't let the Karja Faithless stop me from enjoying the festival. What harm can they do now? The views could be better than last year. And that's a feat. It's for the God of Earth. Looks like a strong field for the future. It's in all mother's hands who wins after all. Shame that musician didn't come back this year. Start the blessing when all aspirants are in place. Aloy, take your place right there. The prayer lantern is yours. I made it for you. Pah, blasphemy, sisters. Aspirants. Before each of you sits a prayer lantern crafted by your mother. In her honor, light its flame. All 
mother, hear our prayer. What is the child but a mother's hope that takes flight? A glowing flame that climbs the air, set free to the wind, sailing the sky till it fades and falls. So, from one to another, passes the chain of love. There's Owen. I have some questions for him. Not with his girl, but her sister. Imagine. Hello, Owen. You know my name. Ah, uh, guess Aaron told you. Why did you act so strange when we spoke earlier? Must be this festival. I'm really not one for crowds. Maybe I should just turn in. Stop dodging my questions. All right, cool your fire. I got nothing to hide. I've never seen anyone else with a focus. Where exactly did you find it? In a ruin, north of the Claim. That's our name for the Asaram homeland. Up there, the metal seams run deep. Steel giants half buried in loose soil. Forgotten caves that the old ones bored into mountain rock. Your eyes just lit up. I found my focus in a cave just like you're describing. A ruin of the old ones. If you've delved yourself, you know as much as I do. Go to those places for answers. Not me. When we spoke earlier, you winced. Then looked like you were in pain. Or frightened. Did your focus show you something? It didn't show me anything. I told you. It malfunctioned. Happens all the time. You're not a very convincing liar. Do you always accuse people you've just met of lying? Only the ones who aren't telling the truth. Fire and spit, girl! I'm a plain hammered man with nothing to hide. You don't believe me? That's your trouble, not mine. I don't understand. We have this device in common, but you can't wait to stop talking to me. <sighs> I already have all the friends I need, girl. I don't need to bother. I'm used to being shunned by the tribe. I thought you'd be different. It's nothing personal. It really isn't. You should... try to enjoy yourself tonight. Big day tomorrow. Always best to make every day count. <sighs> For the goddess to judge the Karja, not me. The past should be left in the past. I heard of the past of the blessing of humans. Not with this girl, but her sister. Imagine. I wish we got to enjoy this air. Find your bed, outcast, and dream of winning the proving. That's the closest you're gonna get. Oh, this is the bed house? With you standing guard? I figured it was the latrine. You're... you're very present here! <sighs> well, well. Look who's come in from the wild. The motherless outcast. <laughs> I see you've still got a scar from where that rock I threw hit you. Now that's a cherished memory. You can be a real lard sometimes, boss. Cut it out. Where's your bite, outcast? Or did you need my permission to speak in- Aw, you even try to dress like a real Nora. Not that it fools anyone. So this is how it's gonna be with you, is it? This is how it's gonna be with everyone, outcast. You belong in the wilds, 
not Mother's heart. And you definitely don't belong in the Proving. Too bad for you that I'm gonna win it then. <laughs> I've trained all my life for this. If I lost to you, I'd make myself an outcast for life. Don't overestimate yourself. You wouldn't last long in the wilds. You know, I often think of the day I gave you that scar. It's a cherished memory. Yeah, the look on your face when I knocked that stone out of your hand was pretty entertaining. But I suppose you leave that part of the story out when you tell it, don't you? I branded you that day to mark your shame. All you did that day was make me stronger. Just wait. I'll show you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, right. This is boring. Time for Boss to get some sleep. You'll be the one surprised tomorrow, Outcast. Not me. Oh, are you gonna shut your mouth? Because that would be a surprise.
Nice job handling Bost. That should keep him quiet. Till morning, anyway. I don't believe we've met. I'm Aloy. Oh, I know who you are. The competition. The others, they'll finish the proving. Most of them. But win it? That's down to Bost, you, or me. Vala. Nice to meet you, Vala. You're right. I am going to win tomorrow. Never celebrate a victory before it's earned, girl. My mother taught me that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna get some sleep. I plan to be well rested when I run you into the ground tomorrow. <laughs> Your bunk's right there when you want it. Okay. Thanks. So, your first day in Mother's Heart. What do you think? You've never slept in a Nora Lodge before. Not very private. It has... certain charms. Homey enough, once you're accepted. That's the problem. I think you'll find a place here. I do. Get some rest. yourselves what will it take to get you out of here racer the start Shattered outcast. Looks like you'll need another.
All you need is to finish. That makes all but one. Is the outcast coming? She was behind me! Strong. Dead last, girl. Might as well walk from here. Boss will win, Urvala. But you'll be made a brave so long as you finish. Oh, now. That's an old trail. Two died on it last year. It's falling apart. Better dead last than dead altogether. Whoa, 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 whoa! My old mother, are you crazy? You're gonna kill yourself! It doesn't get any easier! You're insane to go that way! That's it. No way but forward Just now. Stop right there. Just turn around. I can't see! Boss, the follow right behind me. Come on now. Faster, stop dragging. Gotta keep going. The outcast. On the old trail? Is she crazy? Good. I'm gaining. The outcast is catching up. How'd she get up there? She is a brave now. We did it. As are you all. So long as you put your trophy on the altar. But it is Aloy. Once outcast. And now brave. Who is first among us. Ah! Kill the invader! 
kill them all! No witnesses, no survivors! Stay together! Oh no! There's more! They keep coming! How many are there? Ah! Descend while we have a chance. Get back!
Dying. <gasps> to take her there is blasphemy. She should be near her mother. found me before I bled out. But why is no one here? Where am I? <sighs> my clothes. Good. But where's my focus? Jerks are allowed inside. I, I don't see my bow here. Or that damaged focus that when I took off that killer. Where are they?
I'm picking up some kind of signal. It looks like the ruins I fell into when I was young. The Nora didn't build this place. The old ones did. But why? There. With the rest of my things. and proceed at once to the mission point. Avoid all contact with Nora savages, but if you are seen, kill every witness. Target imaging attached. Do not fail. You are awake! You brought me here? Quickly, you must follow. To where? To the place where you were born. Are you saying I was born here? Inside the mountain? It is easier if I show you. look like me, but with short hair. I don't see how that could be. You were not born of a woman, Aloy. The mountain is your mother. I'm... What? What are you talking about? Come. The Great Chamber, where all mother slew the Metal Devil and gave birth to you. Aloy, the Proving Massacre was just the first of many disasters. The war party we sent after the killers was ambushed and slaughtered. But what does that have to do with where I was born? My hope is... everything. This is where we found you. We heard your cries, came to look, and there you were. Just 
Just lying there? Yes. You mean I came from behind the door? Always, that is what I have believed. That you came from the womb of the mountain. A gift from all mother herself. But others, like Lansra, feared that a darker power put you here. Not a gift, but a curse. But this isn't a goddess. Aloy! It's a door. With people behind it. Another? <gasps> oh! Hold for identity scan. The goddess speaks just like the woman I saw. Error. Alpha registry corrupted. Identity cannot be confirmed. Entry denied. No. No. Aloy, all mothers spoke to you, as if she knew you. Were you not listening? It didn't recognize me. Because of corruption, the goddess's own words. Surely, if you heal this corruption, she will see you clearly. And how would I do that? You said you've had visions. Of a woman with short hair. The killers came for me. Because I look like her. But their power is overwhelming. Is there no other trail to follow? Owen. He was one of the outsiders. The night before the proving. The killer saw me through his eyes. He lives in Meridian. So you will have to leave the sacred land. I've been an outcast all my life. Why not an exile too? There is another way. Come, and we will make it so. You said the tribe was on the brink of extinction. What happened? After the massacre at the Proving, a great war party was sent after the killers. Less than half survived. Uh, how was the war party defeated? The killers do not fight alone. Somehow they have a power over the machines, corrupting them, driving them mad. So the killers got away? Yes. And now the only plan my sister matriarchs can agree to is to sing the hymn of atonement and beg for all mother's mercy. As though she would not want us to help ourselves. Then, what's your plan? This. This was my plan. To show you where you were born and loose you to follow the destiny all mother intended for you. The other High Matriarchs are waiting for us. Let me do the talking. It is done? Yes. I showed her. Sisters, the Goddess spoke to Aloy. Told her to heal the corruption. Ha! But how is she to do that? She will have to journey beyond our sacred land. A seeker? If the goddess spoke, it must be so. You would name this thing a seeker? Sister! For once, Lanzra, join with us. This will be your sin, not mine. Send her seeking, and may she never be seen again. Aloy, by the holy grace of the One Goddess, we hereby anoint you a Seeker of the Nora tribe. 
No barrier can now stay you from your sacred task. May all mother protect you and sustain you. Stay true. I will make ready for the hymn. Our hopes lie with you. Tirsa, what's a seeker? You are. And here is your mark. In times of great need, the High Matriarchs may anoint a Seeker, a worthy brave sent forth to accomplish a great purpose, no matter where that purpose might take her. Even beyond the borders of the Sacred Land? Yes. And with the right to return when you are done, or as the need arises. So I can go anywhere at all? No restrictions? Even to for... For a ter territory called... Tainted. Is it not obvious? Our land is sacred. We live in sight of the one goddess, all mother, source of all that lives. Beyond her sight lies a vast fallen land, spiritually tainted. That is why it is against tribal law to leave. But the Seeker blessing will protect you. Have there been other Seekers? There have, but they are rare, and most who set out are never heard from again. Was Rost a Seeker? No, not a Seeker. What are you not telling me? This is not the time, Aloy. Perhaps another day. Why are the ruins of the Metal World forbidden? They are blighted places, Aloy. Dark and wicked, like the children of Metal who built them. When they rebelled and tried to murder Old Mother, her wrath leveled their cities, but could not cleanse their sin. Their ancient spite haunts those ruins, ready to ensnare anyone foolish enough to enter them. But I've been in a ruin. It looked a lot like the inside of All Mother. That cannot be so. It is. Then this is something beyond my understanding. I will trust you to reveal the truth. What was done with Rost's body? I'm afraid there was very little left to recover. But what there was, we buried at the place where he raised you, with flowers on the grave. Thank you. So many have suffered. Is there anything I can do to help? What is most important is for you to fulfill the purpose all mother has intended for you. I don't know what that means any more than you do. Then you must find out. If, however, you sense that part of your purpose is to help the tribe, by all means do so. I have no doubt you will find people in need throughout the embrace. You said the Nora sent a war party after the killers. Yes. But it was ambushed and overrun. Very few escaped alive. And most that did were wounded. Do you know where the killers went? No. But you could ask Varl, one of the braves guarding the gates of the Embrace. He survived the ambush. He would know more. I should be on my way. From here, you must go to the gates of the Embrace. Speak to Varl, and he will point the way to Meridian. If any Nora tries to stand in your way, Aloy, make sure they know you are a Seeker. Oh, I will. Thank you, Tirsa, for all you've done. May all Mother bless you and watch over you. Nora Faithful, we will soon begin. Purify your hearts. Soon we will beg forgiveness for the sins that brought such misery on the tribe. When we hear the matriarchs lift their voices, we will join ours to theirs. Corruption's fighting across the land, and how the valley seal not Wonderful. The outcast girl. So she survived her wounds.
Need them soon enough. She saved many lives. The tribe is lucky to have her. will get damp. I need the gate opened. Then you'll have to talk to the new war chief, Rush. Hop on the wall. Continue the report. There are rumors of a demon loose in the embrace, a, a thing of dark metal that corrupts every machine it touches. Where did it come from? They say it broke through the gates of the embrace. Who is they? Varl and his followers. They tried to stop it, but the demon was too fast, too powerful. Varl's a fool to defend that gate. It is here at Mother's Watch that we will make our stand. So far, eight groups have arrived from Mother's Heart to join the Hymn of Atonement, and more are on the way. Good. All true Nora will lift their voices in song. Is she still here? I don't care. I need the gate opened. <laughs> Since when has any outcast's need been my concern? Since I was anointed a Seeker. Now open the gate. You? A Seeker? Have Tissa and Jezza gone insane? Bad enough that they let you run in the Proving. But to nurse you back to health inside the Sacred Mountain? <sighs> no wonder a curse is upon us and children lie dead under cairns of stone. Or the war party ambushed? Guarding your little gate here? I am the Nora War Chief. And this gate is Mother's Watch. I have been anointed a Seeker by the High Matriarchs. So do as I say and open the gate, or we will settle this in blood. The sooner you're gone from here, the better. What was that? 